Hi guys. Let me start with a few scary facts. Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google, plans to lay off at least 10,000 of its poor performing employees. In a survey conducted by a company called Aspiring Minds, out of 150,000 engineering students, they found out only 3% of them are fit for software roles and only 7% of them are fit for core engineering roles. Did you also know in the next 15 years, 40% of the existing jobs are going to be replaced by automation, artificial intelligence and robots. Majority of our Indian engineering graduates are not fit for employment. I'm not telling this. This is what the statistics is telling. Why do you think this is happening? What do you think is the cause for this? Well, in my opinion, I believe it all boils, boils down to skill development and being aware of upskilling yourself. We all have to understand that we live in a life which is filled with competition. We wake up every day and there is a competition. We are just in a race and we all aspire to be at the top of the race, the top of the competition. And one way for students especially to be ahead of the competition and to be at the top of the competition is to be self-aware of skill development. So, you know, a lot of people tell this, you have to upskill yourself, you need to have hard skills as well as soft skills. I am not going to bore you with all those things. A lot of people are already there giving out content on that. I am here to share with you a simple and logical four step plan in order for you to upskill yourself from scratch. This is a plan that a mentor recommended to me and it has worked wonders to me. So let me deep dive into this four step plan and try to explain what it is all about. So there are four stages. Explore, learn, master, network. So let me talk about the first stage, which is explore. As a student, the basic minimum expectation is for you to be curious about what is going around, what is happening around you, right? Let us, let, let's assume that you are, a, you are an engineering student in first year and you want to upskill yourself and you are in a computer science department. How do you explore? You can do it simply by searching about hot trending topics hot trending technologies that are that you see around you as simple as that and keep in mind guys technology is developing like this every day you find a new technology coming up all these days we had we were speaking about internet now we have what the internet could do with artificial intelligence okay, so just just think about it and probably like 40 50 years back you know like we had mainframe computers which were like huge now there is a smartwatch, wearable devices. So that's how rapidly technology is developing. And if you want to stay ahead of the competition, you have to be aware of all these things. So what I would suggest you to do in the first phase of this four step plan is to explore everything which is related to your domain. If you are in a computer science domain, explore about AI, ML, computer vision. There are a lot of things. Just, just go to Google or YouTube type hot trending topics and you have a bunch of technologies coming up. So after you explore, it is time for you to learn. Also keep in mind when you explore, try to explore things that cannot be replaced in the future and try to explore things that genuinely make you happy, satisfied and interested. You should never learn or explore or even upskill only for the sake of upskilling yourself. Ultimately, you're going, you're looking for a job opportunity and you're looking for satisfaction in the job opportunity. So think about all these things. Let's, let's come to all those things later, but anyway. So after you explore, it is time for you to learn. 
Now, when you start learning, you should have a goal in your mind. You should have a timeline in your mind. You should be self-aware of the time you spend on upskilling yourself. So when I say timeline, goal, etc., you should have, let's say, one year. You should be aware of, okay, I will need one year to upskill myself in this particular domain which I in which I want to pursue my career. So this is the kind of conviction that you need to have after exploring. Or maybe even if you have a partial conviction, that is fine. Now, when you learn, coming to learning, how do you learn, right? It's not just by scrolling through videos, right? You have to scroll through those videos only to understand which domain you want to master in. So we will come to that part later. So when you kind of start learning, and it's very easy to learn, okay? Uh, Google, YouTube, there is a bunch of content out there on, on the internet, which is available for free. And I would suggest you to go to that, go in that direction because there are a lot of people who are charging 10,000, 20,000, a lot of money to teach you, which is already there on YouTube. So go to YouTube, put your skin in the game and start learning about things and learn about things which genuinely make you happy. So after exploring, let's say you have 10 domains after learning, probably you will have two domains. Now the time is to master these two domains. So how do you master these domains? It is not going to happen. If you scroll through a YouTube video, you will only master a particular skill. When you start doing it, when you apply whatever you have learned into things, what I mean by this is you need to work on hands on projects. I feel the only gap between the industry and the college lies in between is the hands on projects. People do not have projects experience and once they enter into a corporate lifestyle, it is very overwhelming and pressurized for them. It's very pressurizing for them, right? So when I say learning by doing, start learning and try to implement those into products or projects. So how do you go about these projects, right? Again, there are tons of content on Google and YouTube, tons of projects on different platforms and that they even have content for you to learn about the project, right? And when I say start working on projects, it is not by copy, cut copying the code and you know, not those kind of things. Try to understand the concept behind the project. Try to understand the input and what is the output. If I give this input, what is going to come? So basically what I'm trying to say is you should have the conceptual knowledge of what you're trying to learn. And when will you get this conceptual knowledge? Only by doing, only by working on projects, right? So now let's say you have about four to five months for mastering this skill, working on projects. One more way to master this skill with let's say a partial skill set is to get into internships. And I don't have to say, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you guys would, would know this. There are a lot of platforms offering internships for students, even if students don't have a gra graduate degree, right? It's as simple as that. It is very convenient to get into internships only if you have the right skill set. So how do you get the skill set? Exploring, learning, and then master. Okay. Now, after you master, now let's say you have a, you have mastered the skill. And you have finished the first three stages of upskilling, which is fantastic. Next comes networking. I often quote this. Network is your net worth. And I have seen results out of this. I learned from a smart, smart person who said. In a relationship, it has to be give, 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 and then ask. If you make the entire relationship about you, the relationship, it's not, it's, not, it's not going to work. It has to be mutual. It has to benefit both of you. And this relationship can be anything, right? Now, how can you network? What are all the platforms that you can use to network? One platform is LinkedIn, where you find a lot of smart people, right? Now, 
how can you network what are the different ways to connect with your connect with smart people that you have identified on a personal level i will just give out one simple trick now let's say you are interested in artificial intelligence you have found out a smart person who is working like working on crazy projects and crazy, crazy projects on artificial intelligence and you would like to connect with him you would like to learn more from him it's as simple as sending a message to him saying hey i found out about this project which you have uploaded on linkedin <clears throat> i found out to be amazing i would like to learn more about it it's as simple as that when you compliment people they also want to speak back to you right it's a very simple psychological trick so try to connect with people on a more personal level so that the entire conversation or relationship is not just about you right so now that you have a network let me talk to you about the pull you have on a network so i recently attended a seminar where a famous content creator was talking about the pull that you have on your network let's say you have 1000 people on your email list or 1000 people on your contact list that is truly not your network so what a real pull on the network means is if you send out a job requirement or an assignment or a task to these 10000 people see how many people do that job and let's say 100 people do that job so that's about 10% of your network so that is the pull that you have on your network so how can you increase your pull by networking with smarter people providing them value and then making the entire conversation or relationship two ways and one more thing that you guys have to keep in mind is to leave your ego i used to do the same thing i had a lot of ego i thought i was smart in everything i knew everything but i realized later on that i am nothing and there is a lot of exposure for me to learn so have an open mindset to learn new things and to learn from smart people right you know mr jack ma who is the founder of alibaba tells that the plan or the instruction or probably the the the, the direction of a smart entrepreneur should not be to build a product by himself he should have the skill of connecting 10 smart people and managing those 10 smart people right so just think about this amazing idea and thought if you have to connect 10 smart people you should have a personal connection over each and every one of them right so how do you ha- have that personal connection i have already mentioned it so after all these things after you finish the four phase upskilling journey you have a skill you have gone through this entire four step journey let me just quickly summarize this journey explore where you explore all the hot trending topics learn wherein you focus only on those topics which you are genuinely interested and feel satisfied about master you master this particular skill through projects hands on projects and internships and then you connect with your network who can guide you and make you a better person in all ways right next comes you have a skill and how do you showcase your skill right the first thing that comes to your mind is resume and guys to be honest i think gone are the days of resumes i know that a lot of companies hire based on resumes but i think it is slowly changing to this new topic or term called as proof of work so for those of you who don't know what proof of work is i'll just give you a very small and simple example now if i come to you and tell that i have a certificate from so and so company on web development will you agree that i am skilled in that particular domain not at all right so when will you truly agree that i am skilled in that particular domain only when i show you the proof of something that i have done through that skill correct if i say i am i am skilled in web development if i show you a website that i have developed only then will you acknowledge okay this person is skilled in web development 
Correct. So this is a new term that I want to introduce to those people who don't know about proof of work. So how do you showcase your proof of work? There are a few platforms that enable you to showcase your proof of work. One of them is Innovac Social that we are currently building. There is another platform called Fueler.io, and of course you have LinkedIn. All you have to do is just put out information and content about what you have built, what are the skills that you have learned from the project that you have done and believe me guys people want to recruit folks who have proof of work not just recruit people want to learn from you and people want to collaborate with you if you have the right set of skill set with a proof of work supporting that particular skill set right so i am going to be coming up with a lot of videos that explain how to upskill in detail how to network with people on a personal level. This was just a brief introduction to the various topics and domains that I am going to be talking about in my upcoming videos. But on the whole, I just want to leave you guys with this thought. Are you skilled enough? Do you have the skill set to sustain in the long run? Are you capable of getting promoted in your cor corporate culture or your corporate journey think about all these things if you think you are not ready yet do follow this simple four step journey of exploring learning mastering and networking it has worked wonders for me and i'm also hoping that if you guys follow this with your skin in the game it is going to help you also right do not forget to like comment share and subscribe this video if you liked it i am open to comments and feedbacks since i have just started my youtube journey i would like to hear from you guys if there is anything that you would like me to improve so until then i am signing off and don't forget to upskill yourself if you have to sustain in the long run and i have given you simple tricks and tips tips to sustain in the long run by developing skills from scratch so make use of it and let me know what you think of this bye bye